Hi, fart faces! It's me, Bevby. Today I'm going to be doing a whip and chat, so pull out whatever you're working on or go do whatever you need to do and give this video a listen. Um, I am filming this on Wednesday, June 2nd because Clayton is gone to his friend's house right now, so I was like, I'm going to try and film a whip and chat while he's gone because I don't like filming videos when people are around because I find it so awkward. Really, I do find it awkward. Today I'm working on the Seer. So this is the one I'm working on from Diamond Art Club. It's by Emily, Emily Jerish, Jerishi. I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry. Um, and it's a square and it measures 56 by 79 centimeters. And again, it's from Diamond Art Club. So that's what I'm working on. I'm just down here by this flower here. That's where this, this flower is. So I figured I would do a whip and chat now. Um, update you guys on what has been happening. Not a whole lot, surprisingly. Obviously, nothing ever happens in my life, really, that's worth talking about. Well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, I find things boring, but I know that some of you guys find boring things to me interesting, so, um, because I'm the same way. Like, people might be like, oh, they don't want to hear about XYZ, but I want to hear about XYZ. Tell us more about XYZ, that type of thing. So I have to remember that what's not interesting to me, may be interesting to you. So this weekend on Friday, uh, I got a text from Blake. Blake is actually just like a friend now, but I used to date him and he lives um, in the same, I guess, I don't know if you'd call it a complex, not, not a complex. He lives in the same, so this is how it's laid out. My loft is above a garage and then there's a main house, and the main house is owned by my friend's parents, and then they rent their basement out, and Blake lives in the basement. So we live in the same, like, house lot, land title, um, but, like, I barely ever see him. And, like, we're friends now. We dated for three years, and um, I've known him since I was, like, really young. But anyway, so he, me and him had a dog together. His dog's name or the dog's, it's, I guess it is his dog now. So the dog's name is Kenobi. And he's just like a cute little, I don't know what he is, but he's really, he's small. He's lower, he's like smaller than my knee, like as short as my knee type thing. And he looks like a giant chihuahua, um, but he is like a small dog, but not a tiny dog, not a tiny dog by all means. Um, anyway, so Blake texts me on Friday night and was like, do you guys mind watching Kenobi? Um, I have to go and do this thing. And I totally forgot that I can't bring Kenobi. So we're like, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. And him and Clayton are friends. I should mention that too. Um, so on Saturday morning, he dropped off Kenobi at our door. And I was like, oh my God, like, I'm so excited he's here. Cause this was, he was like my best little friend, um, for the longest time, little Kenobis. Um, but he he is such a wuss seriously he's scared by like my cat scares him he literally will avoid my cat by all means like he sat down by the front door um because there's like stairs that go to our front door because we live above a garage so you have to go down to go to the front door he sat at the bottom of the stairs by the front door for the longest time because he was scared of kenzu my cat so I was like, okay, well, you need to come upstairs. So I ended up having to carry him upstairs. And he's just, he's a cutie, but he's not, he's not very well trained. And I think he's like too set in his ways. I think he has PTSD because he is an adopt, we adopted him from a rescue that brings up smaller dogs that were going to be put down. Um, they bring them in from California because in Alberta, it's hard to find small dogs to adopt. And that's what lots of people want to adopt a small dog. So they bring them up here instead of euthanizing them. Um, so yeah, he, he's a really cute dog. He's nice um, for the most part, but he hates men. So he, like literally Clayton will go to the bathroom and then he'd come out and then Kenobi would start barking at him. And it's like, dude, he was here all along. Like... Did you not notice that he was here? And then, like, if he's walking, if Clayton walks in front of him and isn't paying attention, Kenobi will, like, nip at the back of his calf. And it's just really annoying. And it's like, no wonder you can't bring Kenobi to places because he's such, like, a bad dog. <laughs> he needs, he definitely needs training. Um, 
But yeah, and he smelled so bad, and I wanted to, I felt so bad because I was like, I want to snuggle with him, I want to do all these things. But literally, he smelled so bad, and his breath smelled so bad. It was, like, really sad. <laughs> Uh, so like he would sit like he he I think he remembers me and so he would sit with me and stuff but like I wouldn't know that he's there and then I'd be like what's that smell and then I realized it was him underneath my desk and like that's how bad he smelled and his breath was so stinky and I'm like I don't remember him ever smelling this bad so when Blake came back on Sunday he like texted us and was like thanks so much for watching Kenobi and I was like you you need to give him a bath <laughs> But he's such a sweet little dog. Well, he's not sweet. He's like a scared little dog. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I felt kind of bad because I wanted him to sleep with us in the bed at night. Um, but he'd probably be too scared to sleep because of Kenzu, like our cat. And he would probably be just like, I don't know. He He would probably like freak out a bit and um he also smelled really bad so I was like I don't want him in the bed because then he'll just make the bed smell and like I let him like lay on my blanket on the couch so we have a leather couch and so I put my blanket down for him to be more comfortable on it and then my blanket smells so bad I still need to wash it but yeah so that that was my Saturday dealing with a stinky doggy on Sunday my sister texted me and asked if I wanted to go over for barbecue like hamburgers and stuff and I was like sure so Clayton stayed home because he wanted some peace and quiet um which is fine with me and then I went over she ordered bubble tea and like I when I order Uber Eats I only order when I'm ordering like a meal because I want it to be worth the extra money when I order Uber Eats and maybe that's just me being cheap but like I'm not one to order just like a drink and stuff but my sister ordered bubble tea she was really stoked about it and then it came and she's like I don't really like it and I was like what like I think it was probably like really expensive with all the fees and stuff but she was just like I don't like it and so she like tossed it aside and I was like okay but I drank all of my bubble tea my bubble tea was delicious I got to hang out with her and her husband and then they have twin boys so my nephews I hung out with them and they're really cute you can have like actual conversations with them now and they're like you can tell they show off and stuff it's really funny and it's cute um, I haven't seen them in a very long time so they're like kind of grown up now well I mean they're the same they're the same but mentally they're more grown up so that was nice seeing them um, I was going to make more chonky pens this week, but literally I have no clay. Literally no clay, no colors. It's so hard to find clay. Um, it's like very sporadic and I'm not, I'm not going to drive to all of the Michaels or the craft stores in my city just to find clay. So if you're wondering where are your chonky pens, Bev, like literally, um, I have to find clay to do them. So yeah, um, but I do have some new cover minders coming to my shop. I will be uploading those probably over the weekend. I have pictures taken and stuff. I just need to list them. So watch out for those if you like cover minders. And oh, I the other day I ordered a pen from Rolo Works. They're a pen turner in Edmonton and they do diamond painting pens. So that was fun. Um, I got to actually pick up my order, which was cool because it was like, I don't have to wait for it to come in the mail or anything. And they just Instagrammed me and told me the order was done and I could come pick it up. And it was really simple. I still haven't unboxed the pen. Like, I know that, like, when people get things, they want to look at them right away. But I'm totally opposite. I'm just like, yeah, I'll look at it later. <laughs> Except for, like, if there's a diamond painting or, like, something I ordered and I want to look at it right away, I'll look at it right away. But for the most part, when I order things, I'm like, I'll look at it later. And the package just kind of sits there. So I still have to unbox the pen. And plus, the pen maker sent me photos of it being of it done so I was like I know what the pen looks like I don't need to look at it now it'd be nice to like add it to the ongoing pens that I use but I'm not I'm not too worried about it right now like it's not at the top of my list <laughs> I do have to film videos though so I probably will include that in like an accessories haul video that is gonna be a mishmash of a bunch of different hauls 
Um, what else did I have to say? Oh, so I ordered a new keyboard. I ordered the Razer Black Widow keyboard in quartz, which is like, oh, it's so nice. So right now I have a, a mechanical keyboard. So um, if you're not aware, it's just basically there's different switches underneath the keys and it makes them, I don't know, more pressure aware or something like that. And like, so it's pretty loud. The, my keyboard right now is pretty loud because I wanted a loud keyboard. And the switch type is made for typing, so it helps you type faster and more accurate. Um, but I wanted a pink keyboard. After seeing people having pink keyboards all the time, I was like, okay, I want like a new keyboard. And I actually did a digital mark a survey for digital marketers, and I got a hundred dollar ad credit for Amazon. So I was like, okay, I'm going to use my Amazon credit. Um, to buy this keyboard. So I ordered the keyboard. It's really nice. It's pink. It has a wrist wrist rest, whatever you want to call it, an arm, a hand rest or whatever. And oh, it's so nice. So I plugged it in yesterday. I cleaned my desk off, put it down a new mouse pad that Clayton gave me, one of those really long mouse pads. And um, it was working really fine, like really well. And then today I go to do invoicing and I noticed that the num the the number nine on the number keypad, like on the right hand side, um, is like it doesn't work. You press nine and nothing happens. So I was like really kind of pissed off. So then Clayton took apart the keyboard, like took off the key to inspect it and stuff, and he couldn't get it working. So I had to return it to Amazon. And I'm so sad, but they are going to send me, they are sending me a new one, which should be here by probably tomorrow, I think. So that's not too bad, but I was kind of mad because this keyboard was like literally, it was, I think, 189 or something. Um, so with my Amazon credit from doing that survey, I got, I, ha I only had to pay the $89 and the $90 it, that was left. So it was like, it's like a good deal for me because I had that credit. But it's like, well, this keyboard was so expensive. Like if I had paid out of pocket for the entire thing, I'd be really pissed off because why doesn't the number nine work? And I, like, I was like, I could probably live without it. But I'm like, no, why should I have to live without it? If this is keyboard was like super expensive and like the number doesn't even work so there was that and the box was ding so it might have been broken in transit or something like that but thankfully amazon is sending me a replacement and i just have to drop off the other one at the post office oh yeah so letitia won my contest uh my canadian diamond painting contest i did in a live like a long time ago and i had her it's like actually right here isn't it Oh no, it's on my desk. Um, I had her her prize like mail like in in an envelope ready to go with a stamp on it, um, addressed to her and everything. And I meant to take it when I dropped off all my Patreon cards last week or the week before that. I can't even remember now. Um, but I guess it was like it was on the side of my desk, like on the floor in the like my little area where I keep my diamond paintings. It must have fell like in the crevice or something between them because I found it yesterday or the day before yesterday. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't send Letitia's mail. So Letitia, if you're watching, um, I have to go to the to the uh, post office anyway to return my um, my keyboard to Amazon. So you will be getting that this like this week, probably tomorrow or something like that. But I will be sending that to you. Sorry for the delay. I was like, I can't believe, like, literally it took me so long to, like, put it in an envelope. Like, it took me a couple days to actually sit down and, like, pack it up and make sure that it was ready to go. And then I freaking let it drop on my floor. I was so sad when I saw it. I was like, damn. Um, but, yeah, my bad. Sorry, Letitia. Um, oh, I'm working, if you're wondering, this is a crystal tray. This is from a Canadian company. Um, it's really cute. I like it. And I think it was only $12 Canadian or something like that. And then this is a pen that I got from the lovely Debbie Rice for my 1,000 subscribers, like, to celebrate, um, because she's so sweet. So, that's what I'm using. And I'm also using Harbor Freight Containers. And this girl, in my past video when I did the... 52, 54, 52 pack of 
um, Harbor Freight Containers video, she mentioned that she she actually doesn't put the label on this side. She puts it on the other side, so on the back where it where the hinge is. Because if when you put it like when you put the label here and it sits like this, the drills tend to like get stuck back here. So then you have to shake it a lot in order for it to for the drills to pop out of there so that when you open it they don't fall out so i just did what she did what she said she did and i put the label on the back and like literally i haven't had any problems with drills falling out so if you use harbor freight that's just a really good tip so thank you i don't remember who commented that but thank you if that was you uh this weekend i have nothing going on on monday i have a call with a student from a local college uh, every year the, like a marketing student they always uh, um, ask to interview they get asked to interview professionals in like marketing or whatever in the space so um, I'm an industry professional so this student reached out to me and asked if I could do an interview with them and I was like yeah send me a calendar invite and then um, they didn't send me a calendar invite. They sent me like just an email with Zoom information. And I was like, ugh. And I was, <laughs> I'm like so bad. I was like, this isn't a freaking calendar invite. And I wanted to write them back and be like, uh, where's my calendar invite? Like, this is just the information for the Zoom. But I was like, okay, I have to remember that they're students and not all students know what a calendar invite is. So. <laughs> Uh, I had to put it in my calendar manually, which I hate doing because people should just automatically send calendar invites. But that's just my pet peeve and my issue, so I'll just deal with that myself and I'll stop complaining. What else did I have to talk about, guys? I don't know. I don't really have a lot to say. Oh, I have new members to my Patreon, so thank you to everyone who... Join my Patreon. It is the beginning of the month, so I figure um, now is a good time to talk about it. Um, uh, I have a Patreon, if you didn't know. I also have Buy Me a Coffee, which I set up a long time ago, and I haven't really told anyone that I have Buy Me a Coffee. It just sits in my in my description box. But um, yeah, so I have a Patreon, and every week, depending on what tier you're on, you would get a weekly vlog. So I. Like, I talk about some things that I talk about in the Whip and Chat, but probably not to the extent that I talk about them in my Patreon vlogs, and um, I talk about more personal things on my Patreon vlogs, so if you're interested in that stuff, um, go ahead and subscribe, uh, so you'll get a weekly, the top tier gets a video every week, and... Um, behind the scenes stuff and I also post when I find like cool diamond painting things or new deals on accessories or diamond paintings I'll post stuff in there um, I've enabled a lot of my members so <laughs> I'm proud of that I'm an enabler <laughs> so if you're interested um, go the link is in the description below I would love to have you as a member of my hive every tier regardless if you're the two dollar tier the five dollar tier or the ten dollar tier you will get a card from me and I have new stickers and the sticker is not by me so I can't show you what they are but they say diamond painting addict on them um, I've I just got them so I'll be mailing those out to my new patrons and yeah i don't know i think we have a fun time in my patreon and i like it it's an outlet for me to kind of just talk about what's going on in my life and not have to worry about who's stumbling on it because literally only my patreon my patron members can see it patrons patreon patrons only my patrons can see it yeah and for the most part i know each and every one of my patrons like, I know them from chat, or I know them from leaving comments, and there's just a couple people there. I'm like, I don't know who this is. And that's kind of cool to me, because it's like, ooh, like, someone that I don't talk to wants to hear from me. So that that's really neat, I think. Um, I, don't, I kind of want to do something special with the flowers, but I don't know what. Like, I have uh, diamonds or diamonds what are they, gems or rhinestones that I could put like in this blue area here that I haven't put down yet, but I don't know if I want to. I might just leave it the way it is. I don't know. It's really hot. If you guys hear like a, 
a noise in the background like a whirring noise that's actually my fan I have it pointed at me and my phone because I'm boiling it's like plus 28 celsius um so I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit but it's pretty warm and I don't like it Clayton is like dying I think he's not used to heat and I'm like am I only used to the heat because I'm Asian I don't know how true that is but maybe maybe it's true I don't know but it's like it's not that bad but it's still really hot and like he is having trouble sleeping already and I'm like dude it's not that hot especially in the evening like it cools down quite a bit but he's looking at getting an air conditioner for us and I'm like I don't like air conditioners are like such a waste of energy but I get that he needs to be comfortable so whatever he'll just do it and I won't Hopefully I don't have to pay for half of it, even though I'll be benefiting from it, so that's not fair, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I found some that I missed. I've been having a lot of fun working on this kit. I've had this kit for the longest time, I think since Black Friday. My friend, um, I did some website work for her, and she ended up buying me, like, I can't even remember like eight diamond art clubs or something ridiculous like that so I was like oh just buy me a diamond painting like for the work that I did and she ended up buying me so many and just like it was awesome I don't know I was really stoked on it so I have a whole bunch of diamond paintings that like in my stash that you guys haven't seen yet like I haven't unboxed them on my channel um I'm slowly getting to it but I don't want like a whole bunch of diamond art club unboxing videos to go out all at once so um yeah those will be coming soon though and i'm still waiting for the bat that i ordered from distracted by diamonds to come hopefully that arrives soon i think it's just like on its way still and it's i don't know i don't remember how long it took to get my other two canvases but tomorrow which is saturday for you guys um i will be posting the unboxing of my Distracted by Diamonds moth by Jasmine Castillo, so the same girl who did the bee. And then hopefully next week I can film a post review of the bee because I'm done the bee and I really like how it turned out. I substituted the outline with sparklers instead of white drills and I think it looks really good. I was thinking about doing that on this canvas too, but I don't have enough sparklers left, so I ordered a whole bunch of them but I'm still waiting for them to arrive. Thank you to Sandra and Mariah for enabling me. And there's a drill just sitting here. I don't know what color this is, but it is just sitting in the middle. Okay. Uh, Work-wise, I have a new client. It's exciting. They're actually a diamond painting company is one of my clients, so... There's that. I'm managing their social media for them. I'm doing some video editing. So that's fun, though. Um, and then uh, I put forward a few proposals, so hopefully those get signed back. And I don't know. I'm just, like, at the point where I, I have enough clients to keep me and my virtual assistant busy. So I have a virtual assistant, and she does... A lot of the social media management for my clients um, but like I would like to get a couple more clients and then I would feel totally comfortable and like I don't know being a freelancer or owning your own small business is kind of stressful because it's like if you um, you need to have that consistent income and it's not always going to be consistent so like I have enough clients now that I I should be feeling comfortable with but I would like to get more so that I feel super comfortable like just with money wise so we'll see how those proposals that I sent through go I'd love to do more training of social media um, I was talking to Mariah uh, I get I get quite a lot of questions on Instagram like people will DM me like other creators will DM me and ask me how to do things on YouTube and I'm like should I put together like a really quick course for YouTubers I don't I don't know and I and I'm like okay am I even qualified to put together a course for YouTubers because obviously I have helped clients grow their YouTube channel um and I've grown my own YouTube channel but really it's like 
I, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like super YouTube famous enough to put together a course, but I think it would be helpful for new creators who are wanting to get to the, the beloved 1000 subscriber mark to give them some tips and maybe some tricks and stuff like that. So I don't know. I'm going to think about it. We'll see. Um, it's definitely something that, uh, I've been thinking about. So, it's not going to be a free course by all means, but it's not going to be an expensive course because I'd like to price it where everyone who wants to start a channel or who has a channel can sign up. So there's that. I don't know. I'm going to have to map things out for that. Um, what else was I going to say? I don't know. Oh, um... I went to the Asian grocery market on Monday. Was it Monday? No, it was Tuesday that I went to the Asian grocery market. And I filmed that for my Patreons. Like, I filmed inside the market and I filmed my way going there. That was a really fun video. I think I want to vlog more in person. Um, but I'm just, like, not comfortable talking to the camera in front of other people. Obviously, since I'm filming this whip and chat today because Clayton isn't at home right now, um, it's just something I'm not comfortable with, and especially, like, strangers. Like, Clayton, I don't really care if I film, like, two, like, videos, unboxings in front of him, but when I'm, like, talking to the camera about stuff, I don't know, it just feels, like, weird, and it's like, who's that girl talking to, or who's that girl who thinks she's a YouTuber, that type of thing? I don't know, and I know I shouldn't care that much, and... Um, it shouldn't matter what people think, but it still affects me. Like, I think it affects everyone. Sure, there's that. But I do like the idea of when I go places, I can film them and share them, share these places with you guys. Because some of these places are fantastic. Like, even the Asian grocery market, it's just a grocery store, but I really love it. It's one of my favorite places to go shopping for groceries because they have such unique stuff. What else? I don't really know what else to tell you guys. I had all these plans. I really need to start taking notes for my whip and chats. I know that other creators take notes so that they can touch on everything they want to talk about. But I always am like, I'll just remember it. But obviously I'm bad at it. So I should probably start taking notes or something. It is really warm, guys. And like, I hate complaining about the weather. Um, but it is really warm and like I like cold weather better than warm weather because at least with cold weather like you can put on a sweater you can wear a jacket you can put on long johns if you wanted to but with hot weather it's like you're just gonna sit there naked and still be hot you know um, and it's just like unless you have air conditioning you're just gonna be hot so I guess it's a good thing that Clayton is looking at getting an air conditioner. And I guess I will pay for half of it if he asks me to. But it's just like, I don't know. Isn't Don't air conditioners use a lot of power? But then it's like don't ceiling or don't like standing fans use a lot of power as well. So is there like really that huge of a difference for the power consumption of a bunch of fans versus an air conditioner? I don't know. Do you know stuff about that? Let me know in the comments down below. <sighs> That's the only thing I'm worried about because electricity is included in our rent. But I I feel bad if like we're using too much electricity, if that makes sense. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to do this color next. This color is really pretty. I don't think I've used this color yet. So I think I'm going to end the video here. Like, you know, my whipping chats are never super long. I just tell you what's up, what's going on. You know how I am. You know how I do. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that. Okay. So if you made it this far, put a sun in the, a sun emoji in the comments down below to signify how hot I am. And I mean, temperature wise, not good looking wise. 
but I am kind of hot, good looking wise. Just kidding. Um, so put a, a sun emoji in the comments down below. If you made it this far and you're a new subscriber, I'd love to have you as part of my hive. You can click the subscribe button. I post new videos on an almost daily basis. And again, my Patreon is open. So if you guys do want to join the other members, that would be awesome. I'd love to have you as part of my Patreon as well as my channel. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Have a great weekend, week, whatever you want to have a great thing of. Have a great one. Okay, bye.